And I no sooner got home, and somewhere between there, I wound up getting the COVID. Yeah, it's bad. I had it too. I'm I'm on my show now. I need to go. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Bye. I will send you the email. Thank Bye. you. Bye. You're welcome. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I was on a phone call. I'm like, I can't talk this afternoon. They're like, oh, anyway, and I got to tell you, and then this, this, this being just like floats on by and makes me so happy. I'm like, hey, you're still here. I wake up in the morning and go, oh, you're still here. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I My tea is, is over there and... And I have a couple little things I could have. I already did my celery juice, but it's cold today. Maybe it's cold outside. And Facebook did something very strange, very strange that I cannot seem to get back to on my page. So I don't know if I'm here or not because it takes me to my... Um, takes me to my public page, my um, my business page. Can someone please let me know that I have arrived? Okay, I'm here, but I can't read what your posts say, but. Grace Mamina is watching. Okay, it is Thursday, April 15th, 2021. Wow. April 15th, April 15th. Did you do your taxes? I'm on. Thank you, Mama Grace. Hey, Patty. And speaking of Patty, you guys, I get to see firsthand with you what her cake looks like. And let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Patty Loman. Hi. <laughs> Good morning, Jenna. Still coffee. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done, I don't have my tea at this moment. I need to get some tea. Good morning, Jenna. So, there we go. <laughs> How are Hi. you? Are we refreshed? <laughs> yeah, ready to go. Continue. Yeah, so am I. Continuing well, the story. Uh, here's the cake with the powdered sugar. Wow, pretty. And then I'm ready to do my frosting and berries. All right. And I have already, um, I wanted to try the frosting just in case it didn't come out so good. So let me see, here's my head, there we go. Oh, so you uh, do the frosting per piece, got it, got it. great. That's what it said. And now I'm not, I, I did it per the recipe, okay? So they wanted it to just drizzle. Well, I didn't want to just drizzle. I actually made, um, the same recipe, but instead of cream, I used whipping cream and it made a nice dollop, like a dollop of frosting, you know. So I'm gonna put this dollop on here. I'm gonna put one on. I have a piece for Mr. Merv. Mr. Merv is gonna just be so He excited. gets a dollop and then I get a dollop. Now, the thing I did different, um, because we, we love flavoring so much, you know, so it said to add vanilla, which I did, but I also added extra almond uh, flavoring in the frosting. So, because we oh, like frosting. Yes. 
Yes. And see, the other thing that turned out different, my cake, um, since I'm not great at using a food processor, <laughs> I use slivered almonds for the cake. However, I should have uh, ground them possibly a little bit smaller because the cake has a little bit bigger pieces of slivered almonds. So it's a little more crunchy than it is, um, uh, you know, cakey. So let me put some berries on here. I got some great red raspberries and some really beautiful dark blueberries or uh, uh, blackberries. So I'm Hi, gonna Carl. Add... Hi, Carl. Oh, that's beautiful, Patty. So there's my pieces. Frosting and berries and my sprig of mint. Beautiful. Just like the picture. I guess I should take a picture of it yes, now. <laughs> you need to. So I that I can post it. I forget I have to post some of these too. You know, I'm, I'm always like at the end, it's like, oh, I should have took a picture, which is which is odd because when I went to Italy, I took over 700 pictures. That's all. Someone there asked we me, go. Do you have a lot of photos of your dog? I said, yeah, like, you know, between Lillian and other dogs, probably about 45 or 5,000. <laughs> hey, we love our dogs, you know, so. All right, I'll oh, have to. Uh, beautiful. So that's going to be his piece. I'll put that on the side. And then I will take care of my piece here. But what I'm going to do after, I think, is... Um, I'm going to do kind of what you said yesterday. You added um, your cream cheese to it and um, made it a thicker frosting on your little cupcakes, mm -hmm. which I like very and much. You put whipped, cream you know, sorry, whipped cream or half and half? On what? In the frosting. No, I used um, whipping cream and um, confectioner sugar instead of uh, regular sugar. So here is my picture. Well, where'd you go? Here you go. I'm here. I was just grabbing here's, my, here's my piece of cake. Yum, yum. And I so have we're going to find, find out how this tastes now. I have some more right here. Oh, goody. Let's hold on a minute. Let me get my fork. Hey, Carl. Carl Hess in the house. Terry Tabor. Okay. Davis. Who's in the house? My Carl Hess and my friend Hi, Carl. Tabor Davis. She's really good. Cool. Hi. Okay. Here we go. You ready? How's yours? I'm going to get a little berry here. Piece of cake. And oh, there goes my berry. Black raspberry and then a um, kind of a ricotta cheese frosting. Oh my God. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This is fabulous. I love that the frosting. Idea. The frosting just knocks it out. I love the idea of putting um, the almond flour because I didn't frost all of mine yet. Yeah. I'm going to put some almond flavoring in the, the uh, frosting. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And with the berries, it just makes a nice pizzazz there. Mm. Well, my sister wanted the recipe, so if she's not on, I'm gonna have to tell her what to do with the frosting. Another standing ovation for Patty Loman. That's really great. That was fun. Yeah. I like I like the way we when we bake something cake, and I make the mini bites because then I can you know it it, it gets done while we're still on the show. Absolutely. And then then we continue into the night. Absolutely. <laughs> I think um, I definitely drank the wine last night, <laughs> but I didn't eat the cake. Week? What? What are we going to make next week? You know, I was giving that some thought and I'm thinking maybe we should make something um, 
more like um, a, a main course uh, meal or something. Oh, I have to show you something. I This was my dinner last night. Hold on. Cat Latou. Hello, Cat Latou. How are you, Cat Latou? You're going to eat what you have for dinner. Are those peppers? Stuffed I was going to do that today. I was going to make stuffed peppers today. <laughs> These were fantastic. And he makes it with the chorizo uh, sausage. Because wow. we like spicy. And um, the extra rice. And, and he always makes the extra rice for everybody. So we can all have... A, a nice pepper. He made four peppers last night. And when I got back, I ate a pepper and rice. Gracie, that's yeah. what we're having today because I ordered I ordered some food from a, a company that I get stuff from. I'm not going to say who it is because I'm not so... I, I order from two places, but the one place yeah. I'm not so happy with because the peppers are kind of soft. I'm like... No. I, I, need... wouldn't, I wouldn't buy soft peppers. Don't send no. us no so I need but I'm got to do something with the peppers and I need to do it like today so last night I looked at them this morning I went I'm gonna make stuffed peppers today what and how do you make your stuffing I um it will be it will be vegan something you know I, I might make I think we have some sausage in the freezer so I'll make some with I have four of them so I'll do two with stuff with sausage and two without probably. Yeah, that way Mama Grace can have hers with sausage like the old days. <laughs> my dad used to make sausage. Did your dad? Oh yeah, sausage? so did my grandpa. Yeah, yeah. But then we had that great, I have to find out the name of that great Italian little deli across the street on uh, Territorial or was that Papa? I think it was on Papa. But uh, my sister would know. I forgot to look that up. But uh, I really yeah. want to meet my aunt Lou, Lars Lear. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. And you know, I'll get her in the car, and we need to drive out to Coloma. Yes, and I'm going to bring the big book. My my sister made this book. I have to show it to you uh, next time. I'll do show and tell some night if you have time. You can yeah, I still want you to do your display and share from last week. <laughs> you have to remember, I thought of that after I had a glass of wine. You know, I always think of these things like, what's this blend share? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> really well, it's tomorrow night. But anyway. Just saying, everybody, um, you know what tonight is, Patty? Yeah. Coming this Thursday, lives will be changed forever. 1111 with Jenna presents Corona Rookie International Limited. Bring your best, just stay home. Live from her state of the art studios, the Lily Pad. Broadcasting throughout space and around the world. To take <laughs> every home, 1111. <laughs> That's tonight. tonight. I'm so excited. And so you're not making a smoothie this morning. I, yeah. Well, yeah. I, well, I made my juice. I did juice already. Okay, good. All right. I'll make and a is, smoothie. Though. Okay. So good. is there something else going on after this uh, little frosting episode? Yeah. Well, you mean here on the show? No, I actually have a technology meeting today with someone to do to, to work on the live streaming aspect of the show. Okay. Now you mentioned yesterday, Facebook changed something again. What is that? Because I had a lot of trouble last night finding my Zoom and now I found it again. And I cannot get my, I cannot get my personal page. Oh, come up on. 
it it when I go to my personal page now, I have to go, I have to go search me. Really? It, it's like I'm I'm not me. It's because it even asks me to follow. Yeah. It's You're very- kidding me. Should, should I find friends and see what happens? No, you you actually posted on my personal page because you mentioned the um the 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 par- to plugged in paradise. I'm here, but I'm not here as me. I'm I see. As someone looking at me. Yeah, because on your page that I bring up as friends, it says you're live right now, and I can hook into you. Yeah, that's there. I see that also, but it's not. It's yeah. not me. It's I know what you mean. Looking at it. Yeah, I know so what you mean. The kind of stuff I'm going to be doing after this. Good. Um, okay, so you'll get it all worked out. Great. Okay. Great. Good. Great. And then for sure, going on a walk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's freezing here. It's it, it was like 31 degrees. degrees. Huh? It's 40 degrees. It was 31 when I woke up. And we're only supposed to get to 50, maybe. But the wind, we have no sun. It's very <laughs> over overcast. And um, it's not a pleasant day at all. Not at all. That's why it's a good day for peppers. Yeah, for you, it is a good day for peppers. And but I'm I have to go unload my car because I got junk in it. I'll use quinoa and maybe yeah, a little bit of rice, but mostly quinoa. Okay. Okay. And, that- yeah, so we'll have to think about you know, um, Grace and I make manicotti, but I think we'll do that in California. In okay, the good. North. And um, so let's let's think about what we want to make next. Yeah, week. let's give it some thought. And if anybody has suggestions, they can text you and let us know. And uh, we'll just uh, see what we can do. When you go to a family party, what do you bring? Oh, I always brought the baked beans because it was my godmother's recipe. And in the book, it was uh, it, for, for like, I would say I got married when I was young and um, my godmother <laughs> gave me the recipe, which she had never given anybody else because nobody else ever asked her for it. So she gave me the recipe and it was like this big joke. It was the family secret for 40 years or something, you know, and everyone said, give me the baked bean recipe. So finally I said, okay, I'll give you the baked bean recipe. So I give out the baked bean recipe and my sister-in-law, Kathy, my brother's wife who passed away, my brother, um, she, she made baked beans and her father, who is a staunch German guy, he tasted them and he goes, these are not the beans your sister-in-law makes, you know. So he wouldn't eat her beans. <laughs> and she swears to this day that I left something out, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. is, there a, is there a secret ingredient? Love. <laughs> love, love, love. Oh, well, the, wow. secret, the secret ingredient is that from a basic recipe, as you and I both do, I do my little, my extra ultra, I, I can do things just by looking at it or tasting it or, and then I adjust it accordingly. But if you give someone a recipe that has no real, you know, um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Love. <laughs> well, yeah, love. No, so you but, that, 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 that the next level doesn't get there. Right, exactly. Uh, it doesn't come out I- identical. I'm the same. But it's in the book. The recipe's in the book now, my sister made. So if anyone wants to try, because I told asked, them. I- you get asked, what about an Italian recipe? Do you ever do you ever work place or uh, make something for the family? Um, no, my sister is good with more of the Italian recipes. The only thing I used to make was my mother's um spaghetti sauce recipe because that was an eight hour recipe you know you start in the morning you fry the the tomato paste you know I mean it's the whole nine yards and that was an eight hour process of love also but it was my grandmother's recipe that the girls would as grandma was cooking wait stop put it in the cup you know do this do that the same thing, trying to get a recipe from somebody who cooked 
by hand all their life, right? Mm -hmm. Or you get a scoop of it. Well, Grandma, your hand is smaller than my hand. What is this? My, mom, my mom learned how to do things from my relatives by doing that. She, they would scoop and she'd put it into the cup. Exactly. Well, that's what my aunts all did because my mother had eight, you know, there were eight sisters and they all would try to, you know, get her to slow down. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> and let me see that again. Bring it up closer. <sighs> with Jenica. But the new Where did you get that? We're getting closer. We're getting closer to the graphics. Is that a sample? No. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, okay. Could you do the eight hour on the show? Like, could you do, let's see, could you do, could you start it on the show? And then during the day, we could do like spot okay. 11, 11, like at yeah. 11, and then at 6, 11, and then at the show time, 11, 11. Yeah, we could try that. Okay, but I'm going to have to figure a day when that, that I, when you have that, when block. I have the whole day to myself, right? That I have to block that day then. And um, yeah, I could do that. I'll dig it out and I have to buy the, the Conta, 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 yeah. yeah, the tomato paste. And um, yeah. then I have to get um i'll get the uh from the italian deli i'll get the uh, hot italian sausage because i like it spicier and uh, then i make uh, my own meatballs and uh, so that's all the process because all the meatballs were browned in another pan and then it was all dumped into the sauce big pot you know i have my <laughs> grandmother's pot right up here oh my gosh that's wonderful let me uh... see It's back there in that corner. Okay, I okay, I get a little whip right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, my grandma had every Sunday there was a, a huge pot of sauce mm -hmm. and a huge pot of uh, water boiling. And if anybody came by, she had to throw in some of the, uh, uh, she used to use the penny pasta, you know, like the mustacholis, they call them. Mm -hmm. So they used to stick the mustacholi in and nobody could, oh, grandma, I just ate. No, 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 no. You have to have a plate of pasta. And that was every Sunday. And when you think that I had 40 cousins up there and my mother had like five sisters up there and everyone would stop in and see big, we called her big grandma. She was like four feet tall and four feet wide. We called her big grandma. And um, so um, everyone used to stop in and see her on Sundays. And then we'd drive in sometimes for the weekend and we'd be there on Sundays, you know, so. I can't. Fun, fun, can't fun memories, lots of fun memories in Michigan. We got to yeah. go cruise around. Okay, guys, I'm going to head out. You, Thanks, um, Patty. that's okay. Thank you. And Thank I you will, very much. You're, you're welcome, sweetheart. I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Now, let me see if I can figure myself out of here. You know, I always. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now I will turn off my value. Rob Morocco. Do, 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 yeah, I just like it up. It just makes me happy. It's up there. How are you, sir? How goes it? Well, I'm going to pop off because tonight is a big night and I got to get, I have to get prepared. Actually, I have a big meeting right now with my tech guy and try to figure out some other stuff because Facebook, like I said, just did, just kind of did a little switch on me and I will get it fixed. I'll get it fi figured out today. And tonight, Corona Roki, tomorrow morning, Armando, tomorrow night, display and share. Friday morning, there's Saturday morning, one more Saturday morning with Jeff Metzger. Saturday night, one more Saturday night with Gary Lambert. Sunday morning, I smooth into the Sunday into Musicians Square Table. Monday morning, I meander. Monday night, meditation. Tuesday morning, you know, we'll see. 
Tuesday night, Dr. Andrew Rader. Wednesday morning, Patty Lohman. Wednesday night, Patty Lohman and you and anyone that wants to jump on. Thursday morning, sometimes a smoothie. I guess if I could find the base of my blender, which I will by next week. And Thursday night, next week, it's conversations with the creatives. And two weeks from tonight, Marion Meadows will be my conversation with the creative. Super psyched about that. He will be live from Maui. Maui, baby. And then it's Friday morning again. So I'm ahead of myself. I need to roll on. I hope you have a great day. It is a chilly day here, Rob. What's it like there? Is there snow on the ground still? And we need to make a plan to, to, uh, to talk. We got to talk. All right, kids. Stay safe. Be healthy. Be nice. Huge hugs. Carl, you really impress me. You do a lot of cool stuff. Really cool. See you in a little, little bit, Mama Grace. I got to do some stuff up here and then I'll come down and walk Lillian and then we'll come back and then we got to eat some food, some lunch type thing. No snow in 65. Are you kidding me? It's 40 degrees here and kind of rainy. Good for you. 65. Wow. Have fun, Zoe. Lillian does not like this. She's sitting in front of the space heater right now. It's all good. Have a beautiful day. Really beautiful day. I'm trying to think of a word, of a letter. No snow. N. N. N's a tough one. notorious thoughts, no nonsense words, and a new, nice, nice heart. Love heart, really hard.